Welcome to Absolutely Marvel in DC. We're going to have another theory discussion video because you guys seem to like last week when instead of just telling you my theory, I had a discussion about it with uh, Sal over here. And today we're bringing in Dylan and we're going to discuss, could Robert Downey Jr. return? Could Iron Man still be alive? Uh, now, before I get into my theories where I got this from, I, I do want to state Robert Downey Jr. has said in different interviews, he considers his world done. He considers himself out of there. But if they ever did invite him back, he's cool coming back. So <laughs> it's yeah. kind of like... If he ever wanted another billion dollars, he's totally down to take it. <laughs> yeah. Pretty, I think that's. I think Chris Evans said the same thing. He was yeah. like, I'll come back as Captain America, but I'm going to direct if I do. <laughs> I was like, All right, Good luck. Enough. Yeah, it's like the same thing with Robert Downey Jr. I mean, Scarlett Johansson just went out to do another movie. Like, they literally killed her off, and she's like, I'll do more. Can we do a yeah. trilogy? <laughs> Seriously. That's the one where it's like, A, definitely you're back. B, and if not, that's lame. And B, it's like, why? Why not? What are you doing? But anyway, yeah. Iron Man. <laughs> so anyway, Iron Man. Uh, now, I was watching Endgame with Natalie, because actually Endgame dropped when she was sick the first time, and so she didn't see it. So we're finally watching it. And at the ending, something caught my eye. When we get the blue hologram Tony, which I always call blue smurf AI hologram Tony, uh, he comes out and he looks directly at his daughter. Now, obviously, we're going to go ahead and say, for the sake of the movie, they just wanted that emotional gut wrench. I think it would have been more funny if the hologram was just staring off here and his daughter's there. And he's like, <laughs> I love you, 3,000. You know? Could you put Morgan over here, please? <laughs> <laughs> he solved time travel. He could figure out eye tracking with a hologram. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. But what I'm saying, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll give you that. But what I'm saying is, like, obviously, that was why it did that. But yeah. it did get me that thought. In the comics, Tony Stark has died multiple times and come yeah. back multiple Correct. times <laughs> yep. of all the Marvel superheroes. I think he may have died the most and returned mm -hmm. the most. Technically the last time he died, he didn't die. He went into a science coma, a science for, coma for like well, a year or two. Yeah, Kryptonian <laughs> well, science coma. <laughs> most of his deaths are actually all like, Oh, it was actually a coma. Like, <laughs> yeah, right. well, the crossing, and, I think he definitely died. <laughs> So my way, you could, yeah, you could argue like when he when he um, deleted all of the information in his brain during Most Wanted, right? That he died there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of ways you could say that Tony Stark has died in the comics. One way this the is other. true. But my theory is that he is not. He is dead. But we're going to, and I've said this before. I think a few times, but that due to the fact that we have, he's such an important character, we're going to bring him back as an AI. He's going to be AI Tony, either right. be a voiceover in Ironheart, or we're going to get full-blown blue hologram Robert Downey Jr. Mm -hmm. You know, even if Robert Downey Jr. doesn't want to show up, we've proven we can just re-CG actors at this point. That's so true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, you know. So do I you think that he had the foresight to program that AI to be his actual oh. memories and feelings? Yes. If... if yeah, if if they want to stay true to the comics at all, like I mentioned Most Wanted, the only reason that he deleted his brain in Most Wanted was because he had a backup. Like, <laughs> this, Tony Stark is constantly backing up his brain. So right. there's no, especially after, like, I'm sure in the interim between, like, uh, Avengers and Age of Ultron before he worked on uh, Ultron and eventually Vision, I'm sure he was playing with backing his own brain up. Yep. Why would he not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is this is this feasible? Because like, if we get this robot working, I'm gonna have my right. own robot body that I'm gonna have forever. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, yeah. we've seen that in the MCU with Zemo uh, yeah. in Winter Soldier. He backed his br brain up in like the 50s or whatever. So. Right. Yeah, absolutely he could come back that way so, yeah. th so that's what i was thinking like it, it, like if marvel just says you know what'd be amazing at the next avengers ai tony rises up yes because like, <laughs> i don't think he's gonna be in that iron heart show i hope you don't not. think even as a voiceover <laughs> <Me too. laughs> no why uh, not I, maybe there uh, if, if there was gonna be any return of tony stark in any of these shows i guess it would make sense to see some of tony but you know, it'd probably be more, be more like uh, she gets access to his notes or something or some kind right. of like. But I don't think he's going to. They're not going to resurrect Tony Stark in the Ironheart show. Yeah. My, my concern. That would be with mind like, blowing. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. Then people would be like, you know that show you're not watching? Oh, my God. <laughs> um, my concern with that, like him putting him specifically in the Ironheart show is like uh, that is a relationship that they have in the comics. When Ironheart yes. was first like Tony Stark AI, she talks to him. Exactly. Um, but. We've the story beat of Tony Stark inspires 
um, a young person <laughs> to become more heroic after his death. That's happened. Yeah, we've had two movies of that. <laughs> yeah, we don't need to see that again. Um, so that's like I I think the only way you can make Ironheart work. Like if you want me to actually like Ironheart, you need to divorce her completely from Iron Man. Yeah, and just have it be some like like lateral move that right. you know it could be tangentially related. Like maybe she watched Tony Stark and she's going to be inspired. Like, she's going to be inspired. There's I, no, I, I don't want that. Yeah. I've seen <laughs> it. it. And it right. I've seen it with a character. It shouldn't have happened to. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, okay. Yeah. Well, so that, that's my idea though, that we are going to get Tony back in some form. Robert Dutter Jr. Is going to agree to do like a cameo by voiceover an iron heart or a blue Tony AI is going to show up. Yep. Uh, I, I totally think that, but I also, for the sake, that's my theory, but okay. I did, I wanted to throw these other ones at you. I found a list of the most prominent times he died. And I want to know if any of these might also work. Oh no, I know <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh boy. So first up, most wanted, you already touched on, downloaded his own brain. Do you think he did that? Yeah. I, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Iron Man 2020. What if the Tony that died was the downloaded braid Tony and real Tony's in cryo? Mm, <laughs> no. You, no. You want to talk about robbing a uh, character's <laughs> greatest moment for I know. him? <laughs> yeah, make it a clone. Sure. You were a clone. That, that sucks. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Who went by the name Mark. <laughs> yeah. And Doctor Strange knew it too. <laughs> yeah. Mm, that sucks. I hate that. I hate that too. No. Pass. Next. Um, okay, we got The Crossing. Uh, yes. First time Tony Stark officially died in the controversial Avengers storyline, The Crossing, which led to the revelation of, the, uh, of a traitor of the team's ranks, which yeah. turned out to be himself from the future, and then yeah. young Tony Stark. So is there oh, a chance right. they're going to bring back young, <laughs> young Tony Stark? Tony Stark. <laughs> That's Tony what Ironheart is. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be young Tony Stark. We'll get it from an alternate timeline now that we've established this is the thing. Yep. Yep, we're gonna we're gonna get young Tony's to get a get a fun, hip, young teenage actor or twenty something actor. It's like Tom and, Holland's brother or something. Yeah, there you go. I heard they got him into Spider Man three, so good for him. But uh yeah, get like a little kid or whatever and have him just do a bad Robert Downey Jr. impression. I think it's a horrible idea, no. Yeah, I would hate that. I, I hate What about that Young Avengers? They... Young Avengers is led by Young alternate reality Tony no. Stark. No, the Iron Man of Young Avengers is Kang, and that's it's already Kang the too. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's my canon. Exactly. And we're getting uh, Kang in the movie, so we can have Iron Lad. All right. So the yeah. next one, next one, we got. There was a point in which he was shot by his lover, which caused spinal damage and nerve damage, and he let everyone believe he had died while he yeah. was placed in cryogenic sleep to get it all fixed until they could find a cure. What if they took the body? He wasn't dead, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. instead they buried nothing, and That's he's horrible. actually <laughs> locked up. I mean, we don't see a body. I mean, the rea no, we do. He died. We saw his body. We saw his body literally die. The light on his chest goes out, and yeah. they don't just they don't then take his body and go like quick get a get a get a get a big ziploc put him in there throw him into the vision chamber no no he didn't. okay but maybe they do they've they announced did. armor wars what if armor wars is a way to bring back an alternate tony stark i mean if tony's gonna be in anything it should probably be in the iron man adaptation <laughs> like, yeah. iron, like armor wars but even then it's like that'd be kind of fun sense the falcon winter soldier is the Cap's gun show. Armor Wars should be the Iron Man's gun show. Where it's just, <laughs> right. it's it's all, and that's when you bring back everybody. It's like, you know, War Machine was in this, but War Machine showing up and him being a main character in Armor Wars, Justin Hammer coming back. You know, you could bring you could bring back the Stains. You could have Obi's son. Yep. Uh, oh, that'd have be lots great. Of fun stuff. Right? He's my, like the, that guy's from my uh, Iron Man 2.0, Zeke Stain. That's yeah. my... <laughs> favorite Iron Man story. I'd love to see that. Nice. Um, but um, the I, next, okay. I honestly feel like, just quick note, uh, especially on alternate universe stuff, yeah. bringing back RDJ to play Iron Man again at all, I feel like I wouldn't want in any regard. I do feel like um, it, would, it would lessen his, his sacrifice. Yeah. And like yeah. that it, final scene would be ruined. Yeah, right. Absolutely. And I, I think, especially as like an alternate universe character, because like yeah. if he comes back and he's the Tony Stark we know, 
that I can accept that a little more than if he comes back and he's like some freak from like yeah. a different oh, <laughs> dimension. If, if he's like Iron Man 2020, like uh, RDJ plays Arno Stark. <laughs> he has different facial hair. Right. And it's like, like he's, hmm. and he like shaves it and he make, he, you know, he pretends to be Tony Stark and it's like, no, actually I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not. Arno. <laughs> very yeah. strange. That'd be very strange and really stupid and I'd hate it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, the next one's is time runs out. I don't think we're going to have Wii Universe is smashing. Uh, no. Civil War Two is my current running theory, where he turns into a blue AI. Yep. Uh, and then, in the actual fun fact, in the actual Infinity Gauntlet, he does die. So, yeah, so does everybody. <laughs> Fair. True. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's uh, my theory that yeah. he's going to come back as an AI, which is a way to bring him back, but you don't need him in anything, and you don't need an excuse for that. Heck, you could yeah. get him to voice over Ironheart, which I actually, I know you don't want him inspired, but of all the superheroes to be inspired by Tony, let it be sure. Ironheart and let it end there. <laughs> right. I, I, I just, like, I'm concerned because it's it's a beat we've already seen. Uh, and it's just like, I don't know, like my, a lot of my frustration with the Ironheart character in the comics comes from just that she just showed up to replace, uh, uh, Iron Man with no, like, like context or anything given. She's just like there because Bendis wanted her to be there. Right. Um, yep. and, and that, I don't want that to happen in the MCU. Like if, yeah. if anything's going to make me like this character, it's going to be a, like a reimagining of her within a different context in the MCU. So yeah. she's not too bad now, that. but you could definitely sure. tell that with the fame that he got from miles, he was like, just make as many new superheroes as I can do. I want to uh -huh. have all that money coming in from the residuals. <laughs> you know, what's right. funny. I, I thought that was like the straw that broke the camel's back. And then I heard about a guy named James Tyne in the fourth. <laughs> and he got a Batman book, and he just blew Bendis' record right out of the water. <laughs> well, no, I think Bendis was, was just trying to shove one at a time in. James Tidy is like, I'll just make ten guys, and one world. of them has yeah. a stick. <laughs> yeah, how about literally just an entire toy chest of action figures? There you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyway, Iron Man. I anyway, think the blue, I think blue, blue CG Tony is the cleanest. Yeah, yeah. Because you also wouldn't, you also wouldn't diminish unless you turn him into a regular anywhere. But if right. we just establish like, oh, this is an AI that has the memories of him, and he could yeah. communicate slightly. But well, if especially you especially because if they turn him into the comic, the cast. as long as they don't do it in the comic where like even the blue AI Tony was getting drunk. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that was the worst. That was super what were dumb. They thinking, <laughs> I know what they were what thinking. A mess. Put it in Civil War Two because nobody cares. <laughs> yep. So anyway, that's my theory on the death and resurrection potentially of Robert Downey Jr. Iron Man. If he's accurate and he's willing to come back, I th I personally think that he'd come back as an AI. But what do you think in the comments down below about my theory and my idea? Let me know. And uh, maybe next time we'll have one of these guys come up with a theory or idea about how they'll bring back Cap. Oh. Sure. Well, I mean, we've done Black Widow, we've done Iron Man, we gotta come up with a cap one now. Right. That's right. Fair. <laughs> Thank That's you guys right. so much, and we'll see you next time right here at Absolutely Marvel in DC. Bye.